Hi everyone. Today, we're going to make pop-up beaks and birds and beasts books. The instructions that we're going to use today come from a book called Making Books with Children by Esther K. Smith. Uh, and Esther says, the beak pop-up can take some practice to fold. Its diagonal is against the grain of the paper. But it's easy once you practice a few times. And when kids start to draw on them, what fun. You could play with a few for practice before you start the whole book, or make extra pages and choose the ones you love most. Today, we're just going to figure out how to make uh, a single page for such a book. And the materials that you're going to need are a single sheet of paper, and if you like, you can use a spoon to make folding easier, but you don't need that. You'll need paper, scissors, and something to decorate with. And that's all. So the first step is to take your piece of paper and fold it in half the short way. You can take a spoon and run it down that fold down the spine if you like to make it easier, but just make sure it's folded in half nice and neat. Now, you're going to unfold the paper and fold it the short way again, but this time in the other direction, and that's just to make the fold a little bit looser, and that'll help when we make the pop-up. Next, you're going to make a perpendicular cut straight into the fold at the middle of the book, and that's shown here. Our next step is to fold from that cut, fold the paper up in a small triangle towards the top of the sheet. After that, fold the other side of the cut down in a small triangle, as shown. And again, you can use your spoon to even out the fold if you like. Then, turn the paper over and repeat that fold. Now this is the tricky part. You're going to open your paper up for a moment. And this time, as you fold it back inwards, it's helpful to hold the little tent of the fold up towards you. And you're going to use your finger to gently push those little triangles that you've made into the book while you fold it down. It may take some, some getting used to, and the more times that you fold those triangles back and forth, the easier this will be. Once you get it though, open up your book and you'll find that you've got a page with a beak. This is where the really fun part begins. Take that page and draw a bird around the beak. Will you give it eyes? Feathers? What color will it be? What kind of bird are you drawing? Here's a sort of frightening bird that I drew. Have fun.